Frederick P. Brooks Jr., The Mythical Man Month, Essays on Software Engineering. Dive into the fascinating realm of software engineering with The Mythical Man Month, Essays on Software Engineering, by Frederick P. Brooks Jr. This book summary unravels the complexities of large system programming and offers invaluable insights into achieving effective project organization, conceptual integrity, and successful software development. You will learn about the deceptive myth of the man month, the significance of clear communication and teamwork, and the importance of creating an adaptable organization. Additionally, explore essential documentation practices, scheduling techniques, and the evolving nature of the software engineering industry. This enlightening summary will equip you with a robust understanding of the intricate art of software engineering. The Art of Programming Programming is a medium that allows people to make useful things while savoring the complexity and joy of working with almost pure thought. Programmers view their work as magicians, able to create real changes in the physical world. However, large system programming entails special complexities that even optimist programmers struggle with. The metric of man month is a dangerous myth because it assumes people and time are interchangeable on intellectually rigorous tasks like programming. Communication and organization are critical to success, and finding ways to organize your teams to make the best use of personnel presents its own set of challenges. The most important consideration in system design is conceptual integrity, ensuring that a single mind or a very small number of minds in agreement are in charge of the project. Patterns in Designing Architects and software designers follow a similar pattern in their work. They start with a spare and clean version due to budget constraints and lack of expertise, and then incrementally build up the design in subsequent versions. When designing software projects, clear and precise documentation is essential, along with weekly meetings attended only by those who are actually working on the project. Annual extended sessions are useful for covering minor issues and disagreements, with records made of all calls and decisions documented. By the third version of the design, designers have learned what works and limit themselves. Effective Communication in Project Management Effective communication is critical to the success of complex programming projects. Clear and unified communication ensures that the project is well-organized while poor communication can lead to failure. Documentation is necessary for careful record-keeping and revealing gaps and inconsistencies in thinking. A project workbook containing the major elements of the project like objectives, standards, memos, etc. helps in programming. Scheduling milestones with concrete and specific details using PERT charts or critical path schedules can keep the project on track. Team members with good work ethic and willingness to try harder in crisis make for a successful project. Designing a system that adapts Learn how to develop a system that adapts effectively to changes by designing and structuring your organization and programming processes accordingly. When building anything from scratch, the first version will most likely be clumsy and inefficient. This throwaway version is necessary to adjust your program or model accordingly. However, it's not just about changing what you produce, it's about designing an entire system that can adapt and change. This restructuring can be difficult, but it's essential. To achieve this system of adaptability, you need to plan for your program's specific cycle of issues and bugs. New programs generate a lot of bugs at first, then fewer, and eventually, the number rises again, reflecting new bugs that occur at a more subtle level. This cycle can be addressed through conceptual integrity, designing from the top down, and testing each level of the program. Moreover, to structure an organization that adapts, you need to address the demands of the project, accommodate individuals' desires to learn and grow, and meet their need for prestige and recognition. Companies like Bell Labs have jettisoned job titles, while IBM established a dual ladder of advancement for technical and managerial ladders. Documentation is crucial for any program, but it shouldn't be an afterthought. It would help if you described the program first, what it does, and how it works before insisting on your staff for documentation. 
An overview of the program is also essential to highlight its decision structure and adhere to standard notations for all program components. In summary, to build a system that adapts to changes, designing your organization, planning for your program's specific cycle of issues, and clear documentation are all essential. Understanding these principles will enable you to structure a system that will adapt to any changes and ultimately succeed. The disillusionment of a silver bullet for software development. Despite the desire for a magic tool, software development remains a challenge that cannot be solved by a single solution. Programming's arbitrary complexity and the intangible nature of software present unique difficulties that require human centered approaches. In this book, two successful approaches for software development are proposed, changing the metaphor of creating software to growing it incrementally and creating a career path for talented designers to develop their skills. The notion of a silver bullet to solve the challenges of software development has long been the holy grail for many. However, the intangible and continually evolving nature of software continually proves it to be a difficult problem to solve. The author debunks the ideas that artificial intelligence, graphical programming, expert systems, or other tools are the elusive solution to this issue. The author highlights that software development is an art and requires a human-centered approach to be successful. The challenges of programming's arbitrary complexity and the intangible nature of software make it necessary to shift development from a building metaphor to growing it incrementally. It is essential to recognize that software design requires a nuanced and unique approach, which cannot be solved with a single tool or process. The book urges companies to invest in talent, create career paths for great designers to grow, and provide spaces for them to interact with other talented individuals. This, according to the author, will lead to the steady development of quality software. The book also underscores the importance of recognizing that adding more manpower to a late software project is a recipe for further delays. In summary, the book attempts to drive home the point that a silver bullet for software development is not possible. The intangible nature of software, its continuous evolution, and the challenges of programming's arbitrary complexity require a more human-centered approach. By fostering great designers and growing software incrementally, software development can be successfully managed. In conclusion, The Mythical Man Month Essays on Software Engineering by Frederick P. Brooks Jr. provides a wealth of wisdom and practical guidance for navigating the nuanced world of software engineering. From debunking the Man Month myth to emphasizing the value of conceptual integrity and efficient organization, the book summary emphasizes the importance of communication, teamwork, and adaptability in managing a successful project. Furthermore, it highlights key documentation practices, scheduling techniques, and the importance of nurturing talented software designers. As you explore the world of complex programming, let this summary serve as your informative and engaging roadmap to mastering the art of software engineering.